What's up YouTube, it's your boy Snake Cartel back with another video. And this video is about the top five reasons why I think snakes make great pets. Number one, snakes are very quiet. I never hear any of my snakes throughout the night or day. That's a huge plus for me because I don't know about you guys, but I don't, I'm not a big fan of a whole lot of noise. And I like pets that I can kind of, you know, enjoy in peace without them being too noisy. There's my emerald tree boa using his dowel. Looking cool as usual. I would stick the camera in there for you guys, but I try actually tried to do that and make a whole different video, but he just stopped moving immediately. So he's still not messing with that. Uh, another thing is they're fairly low maintenance. Obviously when you get into certain, uh, you know, the more exotic species or the bigger snakes, that's gonna take a lot more care of, obviously the careful retic reticulated python is gonna differ greatly from a ball python or a corn snake or even a hog nose. But I'm talking about for, you know, the, the snakes that are, you know, commonly kept. I'm not going into the advanced levels of care, but even to, to me, even the snake species that they deem more as intermediate, to me, it's not even, it's not too big of a hassle. Like if you need higher humidity, it just depends on your, uh, your situation. For me, I know my emerald tree boa, for example. Some people may say these can be kind of hard to care for, but personal, personally, I have the time because I'm here all the time. I work from home, so it's not too hard for me to, um, you know, keep up with his daily maintenance. So some some species may be better for you because of your personal uh, life situation. Another one is they don't have a strong smell. As long as you're keeping your husbandry up to par. You won't really have to worry about any smells from your snake, except uh, one exceptions I will make is any snake that can musk, but usually that's in a de defensive uh, mechanism. Like if you're trying to grab it and it, I guess it doesn't really want to be handled, um, you know, that could always happen. But to my knowledge, those snakes don't really do that, um, you know, just for no reason. But like I said, as far as like the more commonly kept snakes, like the ball pythons or even the snakes I have, like I have a ball python, a blood python and an emerald tree boa, none of them musk. So I always keep the cages pretty clean. So I never really smell us any like strong odor from them. Number, uh, the next one, depending on the species, they can be very interesting to watch. Now I know some snakes are lazier than others. I know like my ball, my blood python, for example, he's probably the laziest out of the whole crew, but even he has his moments of where he has his, uh, you know, he'll, he'll kind of engage in some higher activity. I might see him swim and soak for a little bit, slither around the cage or even burrow. But Takashi over here, for example, he's a, he's a great example of a snake that's fun to watch. I always, uh, he's, he's very open to people. So, you know, your pre my presence doesn't really bother his activity. He still continues to do his thing. Uh, and even my Emerald Tree Boy, today he's, he's actually being pretty cool. He, uh, usually when I walk into the room, he kind of stops his activity, but at least with him, I can still kind of spy on him. So he's he has a certain level of activity. He's definitely more active than the uh, Blood Python. And another one, they don't have to eat often. I feed my snakes uh every two weeks so you know that's not really breaking the bank they're not eating anything crazy um they're only eating rodents and uh you know the exception of the chicks and whatever other feeders i can get my hands on to kind of enrich their diet but for me that's a big thing because i know sometimes i might want to be away somewhere or i know like when i moved i only had kakashi my ball python at the time so having to stop and get him something to eat or make sure he was fed would have been a huge, you know, buzz kill for my trip driving across country. So that's a huge plus as well. I feel like, uh, I feel like in a lot of ways, snakes can be the poor man's pet, but that's why I hate that they get such a bad rap because they're really not bad pets and most usually don't require any intense care. Of course, you're gonna have some, you know, some routine maintenance you'd have to do with any pet, but for the most part, I feel like they're fairly cool and great pets and I feel like more people should have them, of course, if they do the proper research and are willing to uh, make that pet a long-term part of their life. But that's all I wanted to make for you guys. I wanted to make something a little different than the previous video. So appreciate all you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe, peace.